If you've been following social media relating to Paul McCartney or the Beatles or even our own over the last few days, you'll recognize this QR code. It takes you to Paul McCartney's site where it advertises the new issue of McCartney 3. Now, this has caused a bit of controversy online over the past few days um, because people feel, I don't know, a, a bit angry about it because you know, there was a lot of limited edition and colored vinyls of the original album, which came out in December 2020. And here we are three years later with another edition called the 3x3 edition. And this has just been delivered to me by UPS directly from Capital in the States about 10 minutes ago. So I thought I'd give you the first unboxing, well, one of the first unboxings you'll see on YouTube. So if you've decided this album's not for you, or maybe you're on the fence about it, I'll show you exactly what you're missing or what you should be ordering. Now the date today is the 13th of December and this comes out on the 15th. So I've actually got something two days before its release. So thank you very much to Capital. Didn't get the Beatles ones. Huh. Never mind. So let's have a look at what they sent us. Okay. There it is. Oh, there's not one. It appears we've got three copies. So they say what's really cool about this 3x3 edition is that it will be released in three randomly distributed configurations, each featuring one of the three combinations of multicolored vinyl and prints of Paul's handwritten draft lyrics or of his hand-drawn artwork sketch. Now, what it says on the website is that uh, we can't guarantee that you're gonna get one of each variant if you order three. And I think on some sites you're only allowed to order two. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, they sent me three. And the big question is, is am I gonna get the three different variations or are these just random? I mean, there is nothing on the outside of the cover to indicate which uh, pressing I'm getting. We are made in Germany, so this has been pressed by Optimal. Let's just have a look at the detail there for you. McCartney.com 20 2022 20, track listing is the same as the original McCartney 3 edition. So no, nothing on the outside to indicate which which pressing I'm getting. Nothing on the spine either. Well, you can take my word for that. The camera won't focus, but there it is. So let's get it open and uh, see which ones I've got. Oh, I hate these knives. Ah. Anyway, uh, let's see what we've got inside. Keep the shrink on, they say. So this is, there we go. So this is a poster of Ed Ruscha's hand sketched draft for the original McCartney 3 album artwork. There it is, photo of white dye against a fading background. There it is. So we got should have something else in here too. Yep, there we go. That's uh, a sheet of the lyrics that I got, the promotional one. This doesn't have the QR code which mine had on the back. The promotional one had a QR code on the back, but it is oh, the same lyrics as I received a few days ago, and I think some other YouTubers received as well. Okay. Let's have our that's uh, blue inside, blue lined, and nothing else in there. And that's the inner sleeve lyric printed inner sleeve. Unfortunately, with uh, 
some seam splits there, which is unfortunate. And in the bottom too. It's just one of those things. Um, yeah, so that's the lyrics. All the lyrics are there. New edition, 2023 it has on there. Okay, let's have a look at the vinyl. Right, so that's that one. I'm not sure what you'd call it, like a splatter vinyl. Oh, it's nice for what it is, very attractive. If you like coloured vinyl, this is really a nice thing. I know a lot of people don't, but you've got to admit it's shiny and colourful, which is nice. Anyway, that's the first variation. There are two other variations. And uh, of course, I'm going to open the other two to see if I've got them. This one is exactly the same. This one feels a bit heavier, actually, if I'm honest. But uh, we'll get this open. This one's already a little bit open. And it looks like some inner sleeve has been caught in the opening there. Yeah, yep. Let's see what we've got. I think there's different lyric sheets from what I've read. Uh, this is again the same poster. Yeah, exactly the same as the other copy. Let's see if I've got a different insert in this. I have. This is the lyrics to The Pretty Boys. It's uh, just printed on regular thin paper with that printing notice on the back. Okay. Yeah, that inner sleeve has totally been destroyed, this side and that side and a little bit of the bottom too. But uh, never mind, let's have a look at what we've got inside. Yep, that's the tricolour one. Looks a bit like that old uh, Simon computer game. Don't know if you remember that from the late 70s. There you go. That's the second one. Let's take a closer look at the label. There you go, really, really attractive, shiny, glossy vinyl, always is. Okay, so that's uh, two out of three, which as they say, ain't bad. Let's see if we've got the full set. Exactly the same cover, exactly the same back as well. I don't know how they, well, they must have taken them out of the factory or something, so they know. Otherwise, you wouldn't know which one you were getting. Right, so let's have a look in this one. Of course, first we've got the... Got the poster, exactly the same, same colours. See if we've got a different insert. Yes, we have. There it is. More original design sketches. And some uh, notes on the back. Rough timings. Option A, option B is too long, option C. So draft track listings. Interesting. Interesting to see. And So I'd put money on this one being the third variation. See how the inner, oh, the inner sleeve has survived intact on this one. So that's good. 
again same inner sleeve and there it is that's the striped one or if you like a Romanian flag there it is so we've got all three there they are so you've got to admit they are pretty nice looking things. Anyway, if you want to order these, I'll put a link in the description to where you can do that from. So whatever you think about this release, do leave a comment because I'm sure Capital will be reading it. But I'll say thank you to Capital for sending me these and thank you for watching.